The wait for better waves on Hawaii's North Shore is finally over. The Pipeline Masters is ready to begin. Jordi has made it to the second round. He has a way to go before winning this world-famous event. The Pipeline title, that would be a, an amazing feat. I would, I would love to win that title. He moves on to the third round. Jordi Smith, the number two seed, the number two ranked surfer in the world. <laughs> Jordy, you know, he's had such a good year. He wins yet another heat. If you find yourself in the jaws of a shark, what is the one thing you would want people to remember you for? Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm like a donkey or something. <laughs> Did you just say that? Then it's on to the quarterfinals. Jordy's standing tall in this beautiful backdoor barrel. Look at these conditions. He surfs well, but just well is not enough in the Pipeline Masters. The quarterfinals is as far as Jordy gets, but he has a lot to be proud of this year. He's finished the year ranked number two on the ASP World Tour. Yeah, you know, number two in the world, you know, I guess there's only one spot better than that. So, um, yeah, really, really lucky and happy uh, with my result. But Jordy is already looking ahead to next year. I'd like to win the, the world title, but yeah, you know, I don't, I don't put too much pressure on myself. I'd rather just look back and go, okay, well, I could have done this or I should have done that, and learn from it instead of just, you know, crit critiquing yourself and beating yourself up over it. The whole thing about this whole year was just to really enjoy the year. And because the, the prior two years, I, you know, I didn't have one bit of fun, uh, especially in all the heats, you know, I just kind of hated going out there. And whether something can be seem so, so fun and just going out and surfing, and, you know, it, it, it just becomes depressing after a while. And, uh, this year, I just was like, hey, you know what, screw that. Get out of this whole little mojo and enjoy yourself. You know, you're 22 years old and, yeah, I started enjoying things. And that's what I did. And sure enough, things just kind of came together for me. Yeah, I think my worst result this whole year has been fifth. And, uh, yeah, I'm really proud of that. Uh, I've kind of been the most consistent surfer all year, so that's all that matters. You know, I'm going to have to work a little harder for next year and uh, hopefully I'll come out on top. For Bottle, there may not be a next year as a pro surfer. His sponsor wants him to be one of their salesmen instead of surfing competitively for them. Ray flew me over to America just to fill things out, see all the um, other sales reps basically in action and see what, what happens in the, uh, the world of uh, selling products. So. He now has to decide. Is it time to give up a surfer's life for life behind a desk? They give me a deadline, which is in about 10 days, to give him a final decision on exactly what I want to do. So, you know, I told them and I was a little bit apprehensive, but they were 100% supportive of that because they know what I'm kind of giving up. And on top of that, I'm pretty much the most indecisive human on earth, so <laughs> um, that, that, that doesn't help. I got home and flew into basically the worst floods in Australia in 60 years. The low that was on land has basically kind of went out to sea and produced some pretty pumping waves. Pretty excited to get back into things and get some salt on this weathered skin of mine because I might be doing that for much longer now that I'll be friggin' in a suit working nine to five maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. He also has to decide whether or not he'll miss competing. After being axed from the world tour and losing in his first heat in Hawaii, another defeat may be too much to bear. Coming from a heat in Hawaii, I didn't even care. That I was just, I felt empty, like there was like nothing left in me. And this is why I'm trying to weigh up if that competitive hunger is, you know, really gone, you know, if that fire is kind of basically just smoke now. <laughs> he has 10 days to decide whether or not to take the sales job. Meanwhile, he still has obligations to his sponsor. He's off to film a TV commercial. So uh, this is the call sheet for the, for the ad that I'm going to be doing. And uh, they're running a little bit late, so I'm just kind of going over, uh, I guess, the audio, the audio of what I'll be saying. Thanks to the bracky, but <laughs> there you go, that's a good start, eh? <laughs> Thanks to the bracky, uh, fucking hell, I'm sorry, beep, take 15. Thanks to Breaker Flavor Milk, the Breaker Burley Pro is back again in Burley Head. Don't miss the action, 16th to the 20th of February. And there you have it. Well, I fell off tour and I've got to have other means and ways to make money. So this is, this is the other end of the spectrum. So let's <laughs> see, see how we go.
Marlin is back home in Portugal. The thought of staying put for a while is both comforting and inspiring. Good moment for me, big step in life. Just picked up the keys to my new house, new apartment. I mean, I've been back home now for about two weeks from Hawaii. Hawaii was great. I didn't compete, and it was the first time I've been in Hawaii without entering the events. And I really saw how much I missed competing, and gave me loads of new motivation. To win an event, that, that gives you a great feeling, and that's what I surf for as well, and that's what I still want to do. So I want to compete full time. You know, I, I kind of found out what I, what I really want. I really have to get my act together because I have a lot of plans, a lot of things I want to achieve, both in my surfing and in the business. This is it here. Hope the key works. So here we are, big moment. Wow, it's dark. Finally move out my parents' house. Nice. Don't be shy. Do it good as well. Don't be shy. Yeah, do me good, don't do me wrong. Get the back of my neck and shit. Oh, okay. That's real good. <laughs> Hung out with Jacqueline and Mitch Cruz and we went surfing a couple times and had some fun. Now we're just gonna go shred. He's gonna surf out the front, I think. Yeah, heaps keen. Hey, hey, keen as. <laughs> heaps as. Heaps as what? <laughs> Let's go get some bush tucker in us and get back out there. Connor is uh, he's an interesting little dude. Like he's only what 16 turned 17, but he's like he's so mature. He's got his priorities sorted. He knows what he wants to do. And in my eyes, Connor's definitely going to make it. He's that determined, and his attitude's so good. Jack is all hungover. You can't sir. I think he's drunk. He's still drunk, yeah. yeah. Oh, I shouldn't be awake, I want to be asleep. I just think it's cool, you know, surfing, we all, we're all traveling around and competing again against each other, and yet yeah, we can still hang out and, and have fun together. Well, we're gonna come down here for dinner tonight. They got the big Barbie down here. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we should for sure. Yeah. Even if you get kind of like heated battles going on in the water, it's cool to be able to come out and still just forget about all that and get to hang out. Can't believe you guys are gonna leave us tomorrow. It's awesome to you know know people like in Australia or Hawaii, wherever, France, like everywhere. It's just cool to have that. And then when you travel around, you get to go visit all of them. I think in a lot of sports, everyone's like so determined on on beating the other team. You know, it's like one team's whole country hates the other team's whole country or something. It's not good to like hate people over heat. It sucks when that happens. It's just a sport. It's good to be friends in the end of the day. You get money, you get money, cash money. Money, money. Money, money, good. Bottle has been asked to star in a TV commercial and is arriving at the shoot. I've got to work on my vocabulary. I can't even say vocabulary. <laughs> Have we got cue cards? No? We do, but you won't really need them, will you? I don't think so, but I'll give it, it might need them. Tell you what, my feet are burning through these shoes. They're so thin, the soles. Really? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Fucking feet are burning. Are we ready to roll? Standing by. We are rolling and action. I'm Jay Thompson. Thanks to Break a Flavoured Milk. It's pretty cheesy, but uh, you know what? It's good, you know, it's broadcasted as a commercial all over the state, so it's pretty beneficial to my career, just little things like this. So pretty privileged to be have this opportunity, that's for sure. Coming up, the Coffin Brothers explain their video blog. We were able to incorporate lots of ass. And Bottle wonders whether he still has what it takes. 
The old dog isn't done yet. Dig the dirt back off my grave.